What's up my Ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're gonna be going over a battery powered security camera. This is a product from a company called Conoco, where they provide you home security, home automation products. Uh, just so you know where my bias is, folks, they did reach out to me and ask me to review their product, so they provided it to me complimentary. However, they did not pay for this video review. With that said, down below in the links in the description are um, links to the product pages on Amazon you can check out and see if this works for you. The reason why I wanted to pick up something like this is because I, uh, I have a camera that's very, very similar on the back porch that is plugging into the wall. We just had a big thunderstorm and well, water got on the device and it kind of short circuited it. So I was looking to get a product that has some water resistance and is also battery, uh, battery powered. So I don't have to plug it into the wall. That's the one thing about some of these cheaper models. However, this is not the case. We're gonna show you the unboxing, how to set it up on your phone and also the installation outside. All right, uh, as I mentioned here, it's got 1080p HD, it's rechargeable, so it's wire free. It's got the audio communication from your phone to the device, night vision, and an IPS rating, which is really nice. 65, I mean, that's not like you're able to soak it, but it, it, it can deal with a little bit of raindrops as well as some dust, which is perfect because my other device short circuited because of the thunderstorms that literally soaked it. With that said, this is compatible with iOS and Android. So you would just use the QR code right here on the side to get the app. So here's the unboxing. Oh, straightforward here. Um, pretty nice um, in introduction or welcome. You've got the little card as well as their uh, information guide. Inside the box right out of the get go is the camera module unit. You've got the base hardware. And it looks like a charging charging device. Uh, it charges by micro USB. Looking at the device itself here on the front, you can see that it's got the motion sensor. It's got the microphone, IR, and camera. On the back side, you've got your speaker as well as the USB cord and where you reset the power. You've got the wireless uh, antennas. On the back side is where you're going to be affixing it to the, ba the base. Everywhere else is pretty straightforward. What's nice about the hardware is it comes with anchors if you want to put it in drywall. I typically don't recommend that. Alrighty, now I've gone ahead and downloaded the app. It's Cloud Edge. If you hit open, it'll take you into the login and account creation process. Okay, the account creation process is very straightforward. You got to put your you know, username, you got to put your name, and also you got to put your password. Pretty straightforward. And then we're going to go ahead and add a device now. We're going to add a camera. On the back side here is where you can reset and power. I'm going to push the power button. Hold it down maybe. There we go. Turn it on. You choose the network that you want to. All right. I've removed the film and I'm going to put the QR code next to it. All right. I heard the tone. Now it's gonna take a second. It looks like the light has turned blue now. Alrighty, we'll put the nickname is the back door. Okay. It's gonna load the, uh, basically the image or the feed. There it is. And you can hear myself talking as it goes through. That's really high quality. All right, there it is. You can change it to HD. You got your history. Um, you got your cloud. If you want to activate cloud storage, that's where they get you. You can get seven days free. Otherwise you have to pay for it. Um, you can put an SD card in there. If you want to save some of your, um, obviously some of the alerts. All right. So I'm going to take off the existing camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Um, I already have three pilot holes, but it's not the same. It's it's just wood on wood, so I really don't think I need to uh, do a pilot hole. Easiest way to do it is to uh, take off the, the base here and uh, mount the base and then go from there.
Okay, now that you've got it uh, fastened here, you can just go ahead now and, and screw on the camera itself. All right, I've got it positioned where I want to. I've got the Wi-Fi antennas up where they should be. Make sure and close this little door. Good, I think we're good to go. You can see it there, poking out just a little bit. All three of them are anchored in. Let's go and show you what that looks like when you connect it to your phone. Okay, we're here in the app. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the live feed by just pushing play right there. You can now see that uh, it's showing and alerting where it's at. So it looks like it's a little too high. I'm gonna have to adjust it and update it. Okay, so we've updated to the latest firmware and we're using the latest app. I've repositioned it. We're gonna go ahead and show you here now the live feed. It's still a little uh, angled wrong, so I'm gonna angle it just a tad. See if that looks good. Great, that looks fine to me. You guys can see it. Wi-Fi is a pretty good percentage. Um, here's the intercom. Hello. I can take a screenshot. I can record what the backyard looks like. We're recording right now. Howdy ho. What the backyard looks like. We're recording right now. Howdy ho. That'll uh, record straight to my album, I think. I'm going to save the video to my file. And then you can go into messages, look at the alerts, and it'll show you the back door and motions detected. The problem is I don't have an SD card, so I'm going to need to swap it. I believe my elder one had one, so I'll have to do that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the SD card here. It's pretty straightforward. You just pull off this flap and then you can place it in there. I've showed you pretty much everything else. Let's go ahead and show you now the, uh, the messages and uh, the recordings. Now that it's uh, installed, the SD card should be able to show you. It needs to be formatted, that's okay. We'll format it. And that takes some time for you to format it. Okay, the SD card is formatted. Okay, it's now showing uh, the playback here. This is uh, live from my footage that it recorded. Now you can see that it's uh, in the history. There it is. The remaining amount is uh, 64 gigs. Good. That's how you set it up with the SD card. There is a subscription-based service that you can uh, subscribe to if you want. I don't usually do that. I can just throw an SD card on it, and as long as you're on Wi-Fi, you can access all your saved videos. All right, Pungulas, that about does it. That's about it. Uh, pretty straightforward installation, setup guide, tutorial, and all that good stuff. I was having a hard time getting it to work with Google Assistant. Uh, it does have access to linking it as a third-party app, but for some reason, my camera is not pulling up. And so I was having a hard time doing that, so I couldn't get it connected. Nonetheless, um, it does say that there are assistants that are available to it, so it might work with Amazon Alexa. Nonetheless, if you like this content, guys, hit that like button. Just remember that this video is not sponsored, but the, the product was provided to me complimentary. Down below in the links in the description are uh, the links to the product if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.